Today's video deals with a very basic accessory for a microbit, a magnet. So the microbit has got a magnometer built in which can measure magnetism, direction, strength and so on, which helps it behave like a compass but also as a magnet detector. And we're going to show that we can use this to build some pretty cool projects. So let's go and have a look and see what we can do. So back in MakeCode, if I go under input and then more, you'll see that there is a magnetic force input field. Now there are different variants of measuring this, but we're going to look at the strength. So this is going to return a number. So if I go into show number and put it in forever and include that, that's pretty much all we need to do to get started with this basic project. So let's see how this runs. When we first try to use the magnetometer on the microbit, we're going to be asked to calibrate it. So let's just see what that looks like. So we're now being asked to tilt the device until you fill the screen with a little dot that appears. So here's our dot and what we have to do is we basically have to tilt the screen in all directions until that little dot fills every corner of the device. And there we have it. And now the device is ready to be used. So right now with our basic code running, we can see the strength scrolling across the screen. At the moment it's 38.81. And if I move the smaller magnet towards it, see how that affects it. So now we're up to 896.23. Let's try the larger magnet. So 1492. So you can see the different strengths relative depending on which magnet that it is that you're using. So beginning where I left off with the basic code, we're going to use a little bit of logic here. So to begin with, I'm going to make a variable that's going to hold the magnetic force strength reading. So as I continually capture that reading, I'm going to include my logic. So it will depend on what magnet you used, but I know that without a magnet, my reading is well under a thousand. In fact, it's under a hundred. And when the strong magnet is near, it's over a thousand. So that's going to be my cutoff point is if it reads over a thousand, I'm going to assume the magnet is there. Depending on the strength of your magnet, this number might be different for you. So that's why it's important to establish a baseline and the maximum power of the magnet. So if it's over a thousand, we're going to assume that the window is open. So before we attach it to an actual window, we just do a quick check. We can see that the magnet is beside the micro bit and we've got an X indicating that the window is closed. If I move the magnet away, the window is open and closed. So let's go ahead and actually install it to a window with a battery pack. So here I have a micro bit attached to a battery pack and they're both blue tacked to the frame of the window. The magnet you can see is blue tacked to the window itself. So when I go to open the window, you'll see that the magnet moves away and the microbit displays a tick. In closing the window again, the magnet causes the microbit to display an X. Now you could expand on this simple project by radioing another microbit, setting off an audio alarm, or maybe lighting up an LED to alarm you. 